Check out ProBoxingSupplies.com, PowerPerformanceProducts.com, and you're watching MMAInterviews.tv. Spencer Lazara, MMAInterviews.tv, here at Bama USA, alongside a victorious Michael Clark. Yes. This was a rematch for you. You wanted to prove a point, and I I'd say you did that. Uh, hopefully I did. Yeah, it was it was like a repeat, but my instructor told me don't underestimate him. When he's coming back, you know he's going to come back hard. He wants to redeem himself and do everything possible to not have a repeat. He tried. He tried. Um, not bad talking because he's a good guy outside the cage, man. But uh, inside the cage, it's just strictly business, and I had to do what I had to do, and he had to do what he had to do. It was going to be either one of us, and I wound up uh, leaving the cage victorious. Walk us through the epic here, I would call it spinning back elbow that you landed. Walk us through what was going on, him him calling, telling you to hit him. Were you surprised? No, I wasn't surprised because he did that last time we fought. And uh, that's just telling me, okay, just chop more wood, keep hacking away, and I'm going to find a kink in his armor. I, I said it before, and I, and I wound up doing it. Um, he had a lot of targets. He wasn't, he's a big guy, you know, it, it's not hard to miss, but uh, actually I did miss. I tried to spin him back kick and I wound up almost doing the splits in the cage. That was a little embarrassing, but uh, I had to make up for it with the spinning elbow. Uh, I call it spinning bolo, one of my signature moves. You know, I might see it on Tekken or Street Fighter or something like that, I don't know. But uh, can I give a shout out, please? Of course. Uh, this is on line right now? Not live. No. Will it be? Okay, well, future reference this is for my kids. I love you very much. Shanice, Isaiah, and Kylan. Daddy loves you. He's one. He's fine. He's okay. Okay, I love you guys very, much, very, very much. Okay, and what does that feel like? Or is this something you said you practice in training? You didn't have the guy against the fence. You're out in the middle. Yet you're able to land a spinning back elbow. You watch a lot of John Jones. What's going on? You know what? <laughs> you said the, the, the magic word right there. Okay, real quick. I'm John Jones is a very, 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 very good fighter. I am not taking anything away from him. Uh, it was funny when he came out, uh, made his debut in the UFC. Uh, all my friends, everybody I trained would say, damn, do you see that John Jones guy? He fights just like you, Michael. I was doing the spinning elbow and all that stuff way before he came out, and I'm not discrediting him for nothing. I'm not the only one who can do a spinning elbow, you know what I mean? He's not the only one who can do a spinning elbow and all those techniques. But uh, our, our styles are, are fairly similar. I, I like his style, like Anderson Silva's style. Um, I don't like to compare my style with his. We, both our styles complement each other, you know what I mean? And. Uh, at the same time makes the fight exciting. Versus yeah, I mean, it must make you feel good, though, knowing he is the elite 205-pounder in the world, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound guys, and yet you're coming out here using techniques that are quite similar to his and, and finishing fights in similar fashion. Yes, it is a very big compliment to be compared to John Jones. Uh, of all fighters, John Jones, Anderson Silva, you put my name next to theirs, that, that's, that, it's an honor to me just, just to be con compared and looked at as that way as a fighter. You obviously train a sub fighter, some great wrestlers down there, but you like to strike apparently here. So how has that game evolved? Do you go in, you know, talk about the training there and, and how your game has evolved since the last time you fought this guy and, and whatnot? Um, uh, it, it improved my striking a lot because uh, for the longest my, my Achilles heel was wrestling. Uh, a lot of the groundwork I was able to defend. Uh, Josh Bennett's takedown, uh, weather the storm, uh, pummel, pummel back and forth, throw some knees and, and keep the fight stand up, which made my stand up game a whole lot stronger and kept me in my world on what I wanted to do. I didn't want to play his game. And uh, that's what I fall uh, victim to at times when I play the other opponent's game. It's been a while since you fought at him in Strike Force. What's the next step for you? Where would you like to go with your career? My next, my next goal is just crawl before I walk. I, I don't, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very, very excited right now and emotional at the same time. You know, uh, most fighters when they come out victorious, victorious, especially over a big win, uh, just like I did. You know, they want to fight the world. You know, I want to fight the world, but I, I know being brought back from the clouds into reality. Uh, just take it as it comes. Uh, if the opportunity tends to open up, I'm going to take it. Uh, just back to training. Win or lose with this fight, I was going to go back to the drawing board anyway. And that's what I always tell myself uh, before and after a fight. Win or lose, back to the drawing board, back to the gym training. You know, uh, if I lost, i go back in the gym and continue my training. I won. I'm going back first thing Monday and going back to training. So, Okay, close this out, Michael. All right, this is Michael Bolo Clark. You just saw me fight and uh, do another repeat for Josh Bennett and Bad Beat 5 here, live Commerce Casino. Again, I thank all my, all my fans who came out. I really, really appreciate it. I thank all my, all my training partners and coaches and instructors. I thank you very much. And last but not least, my kids, Shanice, Isaiah, Kyle, and Daddy loves you. And I forgot to mention that on the, in the interview inside the cage, but I still love you guys, okay? Bye-bye.
Yeah. There you have it. I'm Spencer Lazar. You're watching MMA Interviews TV. Godspeed and party on.